where in a democracy, those points of views are allowed. And you are doing exactly what you say the Cuban government is by denying myself, a member of Congress who represents the same number of constituents you represent, denying me the opportunity to present my point of view. What is wrong with this case? I would love to have this same type of political discourse in Havana. Let's have it in Havana if we normalize relations and have normal diplomatic relations where entrepreneurs can thrive in Cuba. The only people who have that key is the Cuban regime. They could make that happen right now. Madam and Chair. unfortunately, you have been friends with those who are not in favor of the Cuban people. Madam I Chair, represent I am, I am a friend of the United it. States. I am a member of the United States Congress. I am a friend of the global community, and I want to see normal relations between every country in the world and the people of the United States and the government of the United States, whether we agree or disagree. Gentle, the only way we can Congress ensure moment. the values of democracy been. are promoted is being at the table, engaging Fidel with Fidel Castro has been the worst dictator that the hemisphere has seen since the arrival of Christopher Columbus well, in 18, sure he's been dead for 10 1492. Years. So I, 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 I,
among other critical bilateral issues. I now recognize myself for an opening statement. And thank you very much to Mr. Jacobstein for coming and for Mr. Roy for being here and wanting to dedicate your time and your expertise to clarify this topic a little bit more. Do you see this poster behind me? What is it? It's a store owned by the Cuban regime. It's a store that sells Gucci's or Armani products 